Welcome everybody to our 117th AIM Learn Fast webinar that we've been doing since the <clears throat> since March of 2020. And uh, this is a pretty exciting one. This is uh, another of our series of updates for the Race Studio 3 analysis project. Uh, we've been calling it the beta software. We're going to talk to Emiliano today, the head, head of the software team from Italy that is writing it. Emiliano is going to give us um, updates on where we're at and what to uh, uh, what kind of uh, bug, bug fixes have happened and what's coming and features that have been added and, uh, and give you just give you some updates and uh, we're looking forward to this it's uh, been using it for uh, for quite a while and um, uh, and we have more and more people using it all the time and of course the video data integration thing is, is, is such a big deal to us but it's uh, also been uh, being fixed and, and, and features have been added just to continue to do things that uh, our users are asking for. So uh, with that, let's, uh, let's kind of just jump in and, and, uh, and, and start talking about Race Studio 3. Our co-host today, obviously, is the, is the head of the software team out of, uh, out of Italy, Emiliano Bina. Um, Emiliano, this is his 12th time he's going to come and join us uh, this year. Uh, certainly a, um, the other eight uh, updates that he's came on here and, uh, and, and laid out uh, the changes so far in the build of Race Studio 3 uh, analysis, but uh, he's done some other ones with simulation and Wi-Fi and, and some other kind of cool topics that we've talked about as well. Welcome, Emiliano, to, uh, to your 12th time here. Thank you for, for having me here. Good, uh, good morning to everybody in the in US. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you all know I, I don't like to speak about me. So <laughs> I, I developed software for for, Amy for, uh, for the, the last 20 years uh, roughly. Uh, and uh, I developed the race view two analysis and, I, and uh, I'm now developing the race view three. And uh, yeah, I, I'm here to help. Uh, uh, Whoever whoever needs uh, needs my help, absolutely. And to build the and to build this software product and take just uh, great feedback from our users since we've been doing this as a beta, uh, taking that information, understanding what they need, and then creating these these changes to uh, continue to enhance it. And I think a lot of folks are going to see what uh, uh, a lot of the stuff you're working on. Th there's been beta updates, and of course the beta updates are all taken care of by the uh, through the beta software, if um, I think Robbie has put a, a link out for us where we can talk about where to go get the beta software if you have not downloaded it. Uh, but once you download it, all of these updates are in the, in the normal standard way on the upper right hand corner from the little blue cloud in in Race Studio three. Yep. And, uh, and right now I think the current version is 95 I think right to uh, yes. 30.95. And um, uh, you should be within another day or two, right, uh, Emiliano? A lot of the stuff should that we're going to show here should today be, should, be should be available to you. Uh, how many days? from today. Uh, okay. So, um, so you're going to have uh, uh, some of the stuff you're going to see today is not available to you if you were to open up Ray Studio 3 at this moment, but uh, within a day or two, you're going to have uh, uh, keep checking mm -hmm. back and you're going to have the capability that we're going to talk about. So, okay. Let's... Um, Let's just jump in and talk about, uh, and again, your questions over in the, um, yeah. uh, in, into the question and answer box will help. Uh, I'm gonna kind of turn it over to Emiliano. I'm gonna run the, run the soft, uh, oh, the I, pres I, presentation I materials. Uh, okay, questions about, uh, about the new release. I see, I see the question. Uh, he, so, but he, 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 yeah. he didn't give us any questions. Uh, there was a, qu a question put into the Q and A box, but. Uh, yeah, but no problem. But no, no question. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so. The way that it installs is slightly different now, and I've noticed that myself yep. when uh, when I have gone through some of the beta stuff. Uh, a new installer. Uh, what, what have you? Yep, what have you changed the, there? He started with the uh, with the uh, version uh, fifty dot uh, ninety five. He started the new installer. It's uh, more compatible with uh, with the Windows Windows operating system. You can uh, recognize the um, the new installer by the fact that it has a disclaimer a disclaimer window at the it's, it's shown right there on the top left of, of the top left part of the presentation. Mm -hmm. And uh, starting from, uh, from some feedbacks we had on the, on the installers, uh, we modified it a little bit in order to arrange uh, the possibility of uh, uh, installing it into a different, uh, into a folder that is different from, uh, from the window, from the AIM standard folder. 
Uh, this because the old installer allowed it to be done and uh, uh, we, we had uh, some uh, users who installed it uh, in a different folder, not uh, being uh, allowed to install the new, uh, the new beta. So we modified it and uh, it now should fix. Uh, we, we had uh, positive feedbacks uh, on the fix and it, it, now, it now works for, for, every, for every installation of, uh, of the previous Ray Studio 3 beta software. Uh, we are testing it on the beta because it will be soon uh, into, into the release. Uh, we, we started testing the new installer internally, then we, now we are moving into the beta with uh, several hundred uh, installations. So we have a wider test base uh, and, and it, the, the only bug uh, of which uh, we have been aware was this one, now it's fixed. and. Uh, I'm pretty confident uh, it will be it, it is uh, stable enough for for the for the release uh, of the software. Uh, what about, what about um, the um, Windows 11 has just recently been released. Uh, what kind of uh, testing have you done, and, and how is it going to work in Windows 11? I I have two PCs on which I I normally develop. Uh, one uh, one is uh, Windows 10 based, and the other one uh, it's my my personal laptop. Uh, uh, that I use for both using uh, using the software and for uh, developing it, on which I installed the Windows 11. And, uh, at the moment, it works. Uh, I don't I do not have any any feedback uh, of it not uh, not working. Uh, I'd say that uh, Windows 11 is uh, very close to to Windows 10 uh, for for what I for, for what can be my perception. So uh, it, it's not. It should should work like a like a charm. I I just like Emiliano. I have my main desktop that I've remained on Windows 10, and I've got my personal laptop over here on my left, which is Windows 11. And I have noticed uh, absolutely zero problems running any of uh, AIM software products, not just Windows um, Ray Studio 3, but all of the different products. I've had zero zero problems I... with uh, Ray Stu with uh, Windows 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I, I installed it, yeah, yeah, installed it as well uh, through through Microsoft uh, installation guide uh, guiding process, and uh, it worked. Uh, I see a question in which uh, we are asked uh, if uh, Windows uh, admin permissions are, are needed for install for the installation. Yes, yes, they are needed because uh, the installer comes with uh, with the USB driver for for AIM devices. And uh, and for installing the drivers in the correct position, we need uh, an admin permission. Uh, they are needed only for the installer and not for the Ray Studio 3 software uh, that uh, runs without uh, admin permissions. I see another note in the chat box. I just thought I would uh, uh, mention mm -hmm. it. Um, will we be able to save the segment's name? Uh, you will be able with the, with the release I'm introducing uh, right now. Uh, and uh, save uh, the, the profile saving has been uh, has been improved. Uh, filter settings, uh, no filter settings are are the same uh, of the previous one. Line colors, uh, yeah, I think I think this uh, this can be a yes. The line color can they follow the colors you pick for the channel? I think it's a yes. Uh, can we have two tracks in screens? Uh, open and check tab. Uh, I think I raised the two up to two track tabs. I think so, up to two, two tracks per tab. So it should be allowed. Okay. Uh, so. And then one, one thing I'm hearing in the chat is that your microphone continues to go up and down a little bit. We have uh, Emiliano went way out of his way to buy a purchase a new headset to, to, to try to solve that. It seems to have a it's still doing it a little bit, but it's not terrible. So if you just continue to speak up the best you can, Emiliano. Okay, There's nothing I can, we can change. I can, I can speak so, louder. I yep, just do louder. the best if you can. I, if, I do, if I do not saturate my microphone, uh, I can speak louder without uh, any problem. Yes, it's, it actually uh, so, sounds very good when you're speaking louder. So okay, okay, I'll do that. Uh, well, we can we can move to the next slide. If uh, on the installer, I think we we are okay. Uh, we modified uh, uh, a little bit the channels report. We we based the, we revisited the engine uh, on which the channels report is based, and. Uh, just need uh, some uh, some hours to, to tune its interface, but uh, 
the new engine will uh, will provide uh, uh, a, a new thing. The new thing is that uh, you can now select. Uh, you can, as before, select the items of the, of the report, so you can have a minimum, maximum, average, uh, the range uh, of, of the channels. But for the minimum and the maximum, you can now add the value of a side channel. So you can, uh, you can have the engine compute uh, the value of uh, a second channel when uh, the, the event happens. So there you you uh, for the rightmost column you are you are uh, seeing the maximum value of the gps lateral acceleration and the value of the gps speed where the maximum of lateral acceleration happened it can be useful to tune to maybe uh, i mean uh, I, I saw it used for showing RPM values where, where the maximum of uh, speed or the minimum of speeds inside the corner were, were happening. And uh, for another, another, uh, another use I saw is uh, using the maximum of a brake, a brake pressure and uh, the speed related, uh, related to it. Uh, these, these, uh, uh, I, can, I moved the, the possibility to Add or remove channels from the rightmost part of the of the report to the top uh, top uh, icons, uh, the icons in which you can uh, you can select also the side channels, uh, the the ability to see the statistics and the ability uh, to show uh, to show this, the, the to repeat the analysis of the channel report into every single split. You can using uh, using the track selection uh, window, you can select if you want the splits uh, calculated by, by the race to the tree analysis itself, or if you want uh, the, the splits to be those uh, coming uh, from, uh, from the, aim, uh, the aim track in case, uh, in case the track has, it, has them. Uh, so there are a lot of different choices uh, if uh, compared to, to the channels report we, we had before. I see I see a question. Uh, what is time uh, time of max and, and uh, of mean here? Uh, where 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 is? It? Uh, I mean, the, the question. What is time of, of max? Uh, is not it's not shown time time of max. But, uh, not, we can not here. But I think if you if you select it, one of the choices exactly. is not just min max but time of max. Exactly. You can. Uh, you can uh, you can have the channels report engine to uh, show you uh, which is the time or the distance from the beginning of the lap at which the event happened. So uh, you can you can have the time where uh, the maximum uh, the time from from the beginning of the lap at which the maximum of uh, uh, the, the lateral acceleration happened. Uh, so this 1.56 here, it, it's that was when it hit the maximum GPS lateral Gs. Mm -hmm. It would have another line of data that said it happened at 32.37 seconds mm -hmm. since the beginning of the lap. So it's yeah. not how long it was at that. It's 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 the location of it. Mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, perfect. Uh, we can move to the next slide. Uh, we will be speaking of the track report. The track report. Uh, in the version that uh, that's now downloadable from the from the website, uh, there there is only there is only a map. Uh, we have been adding uh, just a side of the map. Uh, it's uh, it's it's a window that uh, that shares with the channel report the the, the aesthetic part and the, and the way it works, but uh, it uh, it refers to a single split. So. You can uh, do the same analysis uh, of the channels report, but dedicated to a split. How to move from a, from a split to another one? Just click on the map, and uh, the right part will sync on the on the split uh, selected, and it will be showing uh, you the values you, you are looking for. Uh, here, I think uh, I think we are we are done with the. With track report and we can move uh, please to let the, me let me just restate it one oh, okay. more time the, the, you, you have the dot where you've clicked in the map there it is mm -hmm. right there yep. and so what it does is it picks that blue segment 
just that blue segment and it gives you the 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 distance that you've ran the time that you spent in the segment and then whatever channels you have set up in this case it was the maximum rpm i'm sorry maximum speed in in the segment and then that secondary channel that he just talked about in this case was rpm and it tells you what was the rpm at that speed so mm -hmm. it, uh, it's kind of a combination a merge of a couple of things that a lot of people want together at one spot and you can easily select certain uh, segments just to get the information about that so very very powerful i uh, i really like what you've done there thank you okay then the uh, uh, scatter plot in, in the scatter plot uh, it's this is a thing I, I i had almost ready and when i saw a mail from uh, from matt asking from uh, asking for it i i switched it into the into the main uh, code of the Studio tree and uh, i added it uh, you can now uh, Use a circular, a circular grid on the on the scatter plot. Uh, yeah, you can uh, you can ju just enable the, this into the into the scatter plot uh, settings uh, window, and the, the the grid will be will be circular. Uh, you need to carefully set the the scales because it will be uh, the, the steps will be shared. Uh, between uh, between the two the two axes, so you need to scale to, to have a, to have it circular. You you need to scale uh, uh, the uh, the two axes uh, from uh, say one one to minus one g the lateral and one to minus one g uh, longitudinal. So it's uh, it's just a matter of uh, getting used of uh, getting used of it, and uh, it's, I think it's it's handy. It, I think it's handy too, and the uh, you know it, it works best in the GG diagram. Yeah. Although it could be used in in other things, and even if, and in the example that you've given here, the the scaling uh, on the the y axis is actually different than the than the mm -hmm. x axis in this case. And all it does instead of a nice circular pattern, it uh, it be, just begins to be a a little bit of an oval, right? Yeah, but, it's an oval. But, it's an yeah, but the 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 visual for the friction circle or the gg sum ends up still mm -hmm. being you know you've got your 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 maximum breaking and then you've mm -hmm. got your uh, a much better visual of 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 when did the the driver exceed or not to get up to the the levels that they were looking for and how it how it exceeded it here but in this area here the driver was leaving some on the table and it's much easier to see now with this circular uh, grid so I find that to be extremely useful. So uh, I hope everybody will enjoy that one as well. Yeah, uh, it, it, uh, when, when you enable it, it enables for, for all the channels plotted into the scatter plot. Uh, if you want uh, to scatter plot uh, to be, one to be using the circular grid, grid and the other one to use uh, the, the, the normal grid, you have to add uh, uh, two scatter plots to to your to your view. So, okay. if you do this, you can you can set uh, each one separately. Ah, interesting. And uh, BZM thirty one just asked a question that I think is uh, is also it might be interesting to to see. But the the zero grid line uh, in yeah, yeah. in all of this can it be made to be a bit, a bit bolder so we the zero jumps they, out. At they us. do now. They do now. Okay. The zero values for all for all the the, the the plots are are bold. Uh, I think I tripled the the line thickness. Perfect, perfect. So th there you go, BZM. You asked for it, and it's it's our. It, he is so good; he's already got it done. Okay. Yeah. And, the, and we have another question. Matt set up a multiple scatter plot on the same tab one time and had independent x axes for, for different plots. How to do that? You you can you you can do that. Uh, just. Uh, just to select uh, the x-axis uh, for every single plot. Uh, I think it, there, uh, I, I can't remember now if uh, there, there is a possibility to right-click the axis or right-click uh, directly inside uh, inside the the scatter, just in the middle of the scatter. Let's it's keep that as a to... note. And um, and when we get, it, depending on how fast we get through some of these slots, we may go to Ray Studio three, and maybe that's yeah, something sure. we can demonstrate. So keep that on the side. If we get to some live data, we'll uh, we'll try to show mm -hmm. it. Okay. And so scatter plot is the next one was profiles. Yep. Uh, yeah. The, this uh, this image just to, just to remind me to to 
tell about uh, a number of, of improvements we have made to the to the profiles. I I add the possibility to um, to add more more windows of the same type in the same view. So um, Matt asked me for for the possibility to to add up to eight scatter plots. Oh, and the, and they fixed uh, the management of, uh, of colorings, uh, of, most of all of the of the default colorings that uh, were not uh, were not uh, working correctly in the in the last beta, and uh, now should be should be truly okay. Uh, okay, we we are done with the with the profile, so we can. We can go to the next slide, please. And as we go to the next slide, Jeff talks about some bugs that he had yeah. uh, reported earlier. Are those on your in your list? Um, yeah. He, as we mentioned, as we kind of started, um, the, they have gotten a number of re reports back. Yeah. And they don't always get a chance to answer the, back. But the number of feedback feedbacks uh, has uh, overwhelmed me, and uh, <laughs> I, I'm truly sorry with uh, with Jeff, uh, who whose feedbacks are very very interesting, and uh, I'm very sorry, but uh, I. I normally read them. I, I put them in my list. I, can, I try to, to sort them, uh, to sort them, to sort them, to sort them up, and uh, but don't always have a chance to it's respond. It's something to I'm missing. So. Yeah, it's something I'm missing. Uh, but truly sorry about this. But okay, run comments. This was uh, uh, this comments. was something uh, we just chatted about just uh, a week yeah, or two we, ago. Uh, it was it was a promise I I made uh, in the last uh, in the last webinar uh, because. Uh, the the number of feedbacks asking for for run comments were were, were very very high, and uh, I added the, this possibility. Uh, you can edit uh, the run comments uh, in the main uh, in the preview window of the main database uh, database window. You can uh, when when you go with the mouse over over the, uh, the yellow over the yellow line. The, the the comment label transforms into into a button. You can click uh, click on it, and uh, you can edit uh, edit that uh, that that comment. Uh, once once you edit the comment, uh, the comment uh, themselves are, are shown into into yeah, of course in the in the in the yellow in the yellow row there, and they are showed also into the into the tooltips for for uh, for the sessions. And they are shown also in the next slide. Uh, I'm sure they are shown also into the analysis window. Just uh, uh, go where, where in the top left part of the software, there, there's an eye, uh, a, a, a small green circle with an eye inside. That's an, uh, an information button. If you click this, you can get the same, uh, the same uh, information window of the other of the other of the preview and see the comments you inserted there and you can edit them uh, also also from here so uh, these are are the comments uh, one of the one of the two things i promised i would have done for for this uh, for this release uh, this has been done the second as well but uh, we will be seeing it uh, in just in a minute so we can move to the next slide. Another thing you did just recently ah. add also was this uh, this uh, session distance mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, and time. Uh, another uh, somebody had come in and said, "Hey, you know the, that that's missing uh, in Ray Studio 3, and you guys were able to add that real quickly too." Yeah, absolutely. It, it was another topic in, into the into the feedbacks. <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect. Uh, okay. That the this one it, was the second thing I promised that I would have done and. Uh, and I did it. It's a sorting of the channels. Uh, we already had the possibility to sort the channels uh, alphabetically by by configuration or by channel type. We added the, the possibility to do a custom sort of the of the channels. When you select a custom sort, you are prompted the window that's uh, that's depicted here in the right part of the of the slide. Uh, you are prompted a window in which you can drag and drop the channels in order to 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 set the the order you you prefer. You just uh, click OK here, and uh, when when you click OK, the the sorting is uh, is applied. Uh, the sorting is uh, applied per per view, so you can have into a 
time distance plot as so uh, a, an order and you can have a different order in the, in the scatter plot or another one uh, in other in other views every view has its separate settings uh, there will be uh, the possibility to copy settings from one view to another one because it's uh, most of the times uh, it's uh, it's what you are looking for you you said this you said that your preferred order once and you can copy you can copy it among, uh, among uh, different views perfect uh, okay we can uh, we have uh, we have uh, some some questions lab coloring uh, the default color scheme uh, when adding multiple labs okay this is not available now i can see kyle uh, kyle question uh, we will be doing it sure now it's not the uh, yeah the, it always comes up with a certain color scheme it always follows that but uh kyle wants mm -hmm. to have that customized which i happen to agree with kyle i always I, want to add I understand, your red I understand and then the add the blue in yeah so um perfect so i kyle, understand the need sure yeah. and then another uh, the other kyle kyle watkins huh? another scatter yeah. plot question can we make the crosshairs follow the lap color for displaying two laps on the same plot following the cursor as you advance through the segment uh, sure, I understand that fully. So, uh, I, me neither. <laughs> uh, so the right now the crosshair chain stays the same color as it moves around. Ah, okay. And I think but he's you, talking about if you pick in different laps, can you make the crosshair the color of the the, the, the Okay, lap I understand. Color? I understand. I understand. Uh, yeah. Makes some sense that I, I, I can see value. So. Absolutely meaningful. Yes, absolutely. Uh, okay. Should be easy to do. I, I'll check. Uh, I'll check if I can. Uh, if I can edit uh, for for uh, before releasing the this uh, this beta, uh, Kyle Chatham, we're gonna I think we're gonna be in a, some talking some maps and sectors here in just yeah, a moment. Sure. So let's let's hold mm -hmm. off on your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tim says, do the comment boxes support links or external files like setup sheets, web pages? Uh, you know, if we went back to here, could you could, does this do any hyperlinking? No, there is not at the moment, but the idea so, is good. Good idea, Tim. He says the idea okay. is good. Uh, and uh, uh, Johan asked the same yeah. question. The same okay. question. Yeah. Wow, interesting. I hadn't even thought that one through that uh, that that would be a possibility. So that's uh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. The the next slide was uh, lab, lab selection. selection. Uh, they, this is uh, also also these uh, come uh, comes from uh, from feedback. So the possibility to to automatically select the uh, we, we have the possibility to select uh, all labs or the best lab and now you can choose the you can pick the best three or the best five this uh, makes uh, makes uh, makes it quicker to analyze uh, the most uh, important data of, uh, of the session you you select uh, normally people uh, for, for for what I, I saw normally people select uh, the mo the best five to to get uh, maybe the ten Wheel temperature, wheel pressures uh, of, of the best five labs because uh, these are more representative of, of the the top usage of the vehicle uh, on the track. But anyway, we we added it. It was uh, rather easy for us, and uh, we did it. You may have so, said it. I, I was having to handle another little thing there. You may have said it, but it, certainly you're getting that here. But you also get it when you right click down below. You may have said that, yep. but that's uh, I mm -hmm. uh, I like that. I like that that's in both places. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay, plotting axis and zooms. Oh, plot, uh, I think for this it's better it's better to to move into the into a live presentation. So we 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 will do it later. But uh, uh, I just uh, quickly say that uh, uh, it was uh, it was already possible to do this. But uh, now I I think I I improved it and it works now correctly. Uh, you can zoom a single axis in case of a scatter plot. Just mouse wheel on, on the on the axis and uh, and and. Uh, with the mouse wheel, you you can zoom. If you in the scatter plot, if you zoom one of the x axes uh, in the in the plot, all all the x axes get zoomed together, okay. so, so they stick for they stick to the same uh, to the same scaling. Uh, you can zoom just staying uh, just using the mouse wheel inside uh, inside the, the plot, 
and uh, uh, again the x scale the x scaling is uh, is going together the the the, the all are linked uh, to go back to quickly go back to the to the previous scaling just uh, just double click on the axis and uh, uh, just double click on the axis and uh, the axis will be will be going back to the original uh, to the original settings if you control double click the the axis uh, you are prompted with the channel settings uh, channel okay. setting window so you can uh, you can set uh, specific uh, start or end of scale values for for that channel so you can be more precise in controlling your your plot and uh, uh, yeah, of course. If you if you do an horizontal zoom in into the time distance plot, you are you are changing not the zoom of the, of the plot, but the the data set. So you're you're narrowing uh, or enlarging the the data set, uh, and uh, you are effering uh, with this uh, modification all other all other windows. And uh, when uh, when you are zoomed in, in into a plot, if you drag and drop the normally the the, the mouse in, into the plot, you are moving the cursor. But if you hit, hold your control button uh, pressed, you are moving. Uh, you are moving the the, the, the scaling of the of the plot. Uh, maybe uh, just a told like this is not intuitive, but I'll be showing you later into a live uh, live presentation. So it will be. I think it's nice. It's a nice uh, nice uh, thing. There has been a bunch of things that have been added like that that we haven't uh, that haven't been announced, but lots of control shift alt things that are starting to happen, and um, uh, we need to maybe make a list or or focus on mm -hmm. uh, of those here in a bit um, yep, in, yep. Pre in in future. But the other one that the a lot of people do like to use are keyboard shortcuts, and I don't think you've started any of those yet. But uh, what is your thought on that? Is that something that will be coming soon, or are you going to typically yeah. do it more with control and you know and mouse driven stuff? They will be coming soon because uh, the engine is ready. Uh, it, it's uh, it's only a matter to decide which are which are the the the. the Best uh, okay. keyboard combination to use to do to do uh, an action. I didn't That's, want to go uh, much more detail than that, but I did, did want people to know that uh, keyboard shortcuts are are, are planned yeah. and, are, and are on their way. Soon. Are very are very high on my list. Okay, perfect. Let, should we grab a couple of questions real quickly? Uh, yeah, sure. Can Ray Studio Three just send the ideal line to the steering steering servo motor and go around the driver for qualifying only on? You have to pay extra for that, right? Uh, but uh, <laughs> at the moment, no. Uh, so I, my guess is that's uh, we're not going to do that. Um, no, at the moment, no. <laughs> Brian says on my setup sheets, I write down the lap times for reference on his own stuff. Uh, when can we print out lap times? Uh, okay, the printouts. Uh... Printing across the board is not yet uh, up and running, but uh, it's something no, I know it's you're not, working it's not, on. It's not up and running. It's not close, uh, but, uh, but for, for sure it will be done because uh, we we need to uh, to arrive to the point uh, where where Race to the Tree does everything Race to Your Two did. So, uh, and of course, pr uh, screen prints was was something that it could do. And um, and it, just so everybody knows, that is that is a. Uh, a, a standard uh, practice of the way that they're handling this. If it did it in Ray Studio 2, you know, the, obviously Ray Studio 3 needs to do that and better and more, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Printing is one of those things, obviously. Uh, um, will you allow, will the update allow you to delete maps and sectors created in the trap? Track yeah, split yeah, sequence yeah, yeah, interface. Yeah. I think uh, a couple slides yes. coming on that here in just a second yes, as well. Yes, we will allow it. Um, uh, scaling some windows. Uh, Split report graphs on the right does not scale all graphs together. It scales the bottom graph first until it's small, then the second graph, the third graph. Can these I, graphs be scaled uniformly? I think so. I think it's uh, it's okay now, maybe but maybe already. I am missing a uh, I'm missing something. I think I think it's okay now. And and I mean, poor, poor Emiliano getting uh, blasted with a bunch of different things. I see him writing occasionally. The last one, though, uh, for now, uh, one thing that I am just this huge fan of, I just love being able to do it. Yeah. And it's already doing it some, but context sensitive menus, right clicking it, that's already working in some areas. Are you going to uh, make more of that? Yeah, sure. Uh, Eldon 
think the, think only that uh, you have Roger as your best friend. In this. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to quite say it quite that much, but I, uh, uh, Eldon, I, uh, I am screaming all the time about that because that's the way I like to work. So keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, I but uh, track selections. Uh, some of the questions we're getting into a couple of questions that we kind of put on hold. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this slide. Yeah, uh, track selection with the with the map uh, the map icon. You can you are uh, op you are prompted the window in which uh, on, on the left part you have a list of all the splits sequences you you created and uh, of all the possible track maps uh, uh, that Ray Studio Three has. Uh, this can be useful. Uh, maybe to select a different uh, a different track configuration if uh, I think it's no more the case but uh, uh, if uh, race new tree misses the configuration you are you are racing on you can switch your your session into a different uh, configuration and uh, if you create a, a different uh, split sequence using uh, using the time distance uh, the time distance plot in the top part you can uh, you can drag and drop the splits you can with a right click on the on the, uh, the split mark on the top of the, of the graph you can select uh, you can have a possibility to delete a split to add a new one to drag uh, to drag the split exactly where where you want it to be and you can uh, you can save a sequence as uh, you can save sequences you can create new ones and if you come here if you want, uh, uh, there, there, there's a sequence that's, uh, that's the default uh, for, for AIM. Uh, in case you modified the, the split on those, uh, I think there's a menu in which you can, uh, you can uh, a right-click menu here or click on the cogged wheel and uh, a context-sensitive menu will, uh, will appear to you. And uh, you will have the possibility to switch back back to the original uh, split division that uh, AIM created for you. Th there is the possibility, sure. And and if your track, if and I think you already mentioned it, and you and you certainly do over here. Oh yeah. If 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 you ever find the spot that we don't have the track in there, please 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 that that AIM is so good about this that in the later case, please send us the data and and uh, they've got a guy that is doing nothing but. Uh, doing the background work, looking at the tracks and adding them to the database just as quickly as they can. Yeah, even if uh, data are not complete, maybe maybe it's uh, half of the of the lab or whatever. We we just need to know there there is a track configuration that we do not feature in, in our in our software and we can create it also manually. It, yeah, it yeah, yeah, even if you, even if you're going to go to a track that's um you know, going to track next week and you know that they cut, you know, they cut through here and there's a paved road there that we can see in, in, uh, in Google Earth or something, they can come in and, uh, and make that piece up and running and ready to go before the, for the race even happens. Yes, yes, so. we can. No, normally, normally it's, it's done in uh, 24 hours, yeah. unless, unless it's like a button window, which, uh, we had to, to draw manually 97 configuration and so it's <laughs> yeah very it gets a little bit more cumbersome obviously yeah perfect but perfect. We, we normally do okay well since we're on this slide jeff comes up with a question about this particular slide will there be any documents on how the new software is selecting track maps for tracks with multiple configurations just a, if you want to spend just a minute we the tracks now yes. are have direction to them uh, yes. so we we understand which way you're driving and because yep. of that we can uh, maybe uh select better the different configurations that we may show up button willow california you know 25 different configurations kind of a thing right we we have track configurations we normally uh, check the um, we take uh, well, when when you import the session into the database, we take uh, I think the three best labs, two three best labs, and we go checking uh, their consistency. We uh, comparing uh, comparing the two best labs uh, with uh, the track configuration that we have, and uh, if the match is within, I think it's within fifty meters, twenty meters. Uh, we have parameters. Should be between 50 meters meters now. Uh, if the match is uh, is done, uh, okay, that, that that's a track. If uh, in case uh, 
uh, in case there is no match with, uh, with uh, any of our configurations, uh, the session is, uh, is not associated with, the, with any configuration. It will, if, if there is a close one, uh, we take the name, the name of the town or the name of the, uh, of the track that is closed. But, but the association with the, with the track uh, configuration is not, uh, is not done. So, so in case we do not match any, any of our configuration, uh, you, can, uh, you can open it. You can come in this window and uh, on the left part, uh, there, there's the bottom, uh, the bottom uh, row. Uh, on the left part, uh, uh, it states create a, new, create a new map. You can start from there you are prompted a, a track creation uh, window and then you, a new track is, uh, is created for you. And it will be a user track, not, uh, not a name track, but uh, it will work either way for, for, for the analysis. And if you as a user believe that that track is going to be used a lot, you then, it is also gives you the ability to, to please send that directly to AIM and, and have it added. Yeah, when you create uh, anything uh, related to, to track maps, uh, Ray Studio 3 tells you if you want to share to share that with AIM. And if you share it, uh, it comes to us and we normally add it. So the, uh, but the, uh, just to reiterate again, just a little bit is Watkins Glen example here. If you were to plug in that uh, you were gonna use the full track, right? With the boot down here and you went out and you actually raced this, it's it, it, certainly the uh, the difference is enough that the software is going to catch it and say uh, it, you know this you, this is probably the configuration you want um, and it and I have found it to be good enough to even catches when you run a chicane or not so it um, uh, keep that in mind and uh, it, it does a pretty good job but I'm sure they'll continue to make it better mm -hmm. yeah I see in the questions uh, if we can highlight so say the SCCA major track maps. Uh, I cannot understand the, the wording highlight. It's, it's my limit, I know. Yeah, I think he wants uh, to be able to break those out to SCCA majors. It, it's a, a, a function of the, the larger yeah. races. Those yeah. tracks, if they're used for that, I think that's better to be done by the user and do that uh, uh, inside the software with, uh, with, with the different track ways of, of grouping tracks. Uh, grouping tracks, uh, you can uh, you can use collections. Uh, into the and I think database. that's the better way to do that uh, than to, to 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 give it a, a SCCA uh, major uh, of, mm -hmm. inside yeah. of the track based track database. So yeah, sure. Okay, I've uh, had issues when creating a new track map, new map in this function where all the session laps are lumped into one lap instead of individual laps. Uh, uh, it has not went, recognized the track. It sounds like. Uh, we went improving it uh, in the last days, so I'm I'm very hopeful that uh, we fix it. Uh, in, ca in case we didn't, uh, just uh, drop us an email and uh, we, we will be sure. I have seen it rarely. Kyle and uh, I had one just uh, four or five days ago. I sent it into them, and uh, and uh, and it seems like they've they've found some fixes towards that. So please, when the new version comes out, try it a little bit and see if uh, see if it's been fixed uh, to mm -hmm. to your yeah. level there. Okay. So we can uh, can go ahead. Oh, met, met channels. Met channels are are uh, one of the most uh, asked features uh, in, the, in the new software. Uh, I already uh, spent some uh, some words on the on the met channels in previous webinars. Now I think we are we are really okay on them. Uh, we have for. Uh, we have divided it compared to the Ray Studio 2 analysis interface for, for Met Channels. We have uh, divided the, the interface now in the application window, in which uh, you have on the left part your Met Channel database. And you here decide, uh, uh, su suppose uh, in a, another person, AIM, uh, myself, uh, created a, 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 a database of uh, Met Channels and uh, I'm sharing it with you. So you in the software will have uh, only the, the match channel database and you may decide which one you want to apply to your session. And you just uh, have to go into the left list, pick up the channels you want, uh, click on the cogged wheel and uh, select apply for all my sessions or apply. You can have 
separate med channels for maybe different vehicles you you may have in your in your in your normal usage and you if you associate uh, uh, a device maybe my evo 5 with my evo 5 number uh, 33 with uh, to to my mustang and uh, my evo 5 uh, number 55 to my my camaro i i can uh, apply some match channels only to a specific device so every time you open you open a session from that device from that evo 5 the match channels you selected uh, for for being used will be applied so here in this window, you practically decide which channels you want to see and which channels you do not want to, to use. Uh, if you flag them for, for being used, every time you open a session, the software will be prompting for you those, uh, those channels, provided that, can be, that uh, they can be computed. Very, very uh, powerful for guys that have uh, multiple car teams and you, and you have different mm -hmm, suspension yeah. rates or you know, all these different things, uh, very, very powerful. Yeah, med channels are, are grouped by by areas uh, areas of use. Uh, we we by default supply some some channels, some bound to the to the GPS, some bound to the vehicle. Uh, they are grouped, but you can, if you don't don't want uh, the channel we supply by default, you can delete them. You can create your own. So you can copy. You can clone. Uh, you can do a lot a lot of uh, a lot of operation and create your your own set and uh, that set uh, can be if you define some channels to be to be useful you can add all of them to the to your sessions this because uh, differently by raising a tool that used to compute the match channels uh, as soon as you open the the session here the the channels are computed just once so they are computed, added, added to the database, and they will be available from now on without, uh, without, uh, the, without taking the, the power of the time of uh, computing them every time you open a session. So it's uh, really handy, really, really powerful in my, my vision. Uh, this is, uh, the, as I said, the, the window in which you, you decide which, which channel you want and which channel you do not want. Uh, let's uh, let's move to the next slide in which uh, we have a couple of slides in which uh, uh, in which we define uh, uh, in which I, I show how to how to create a net channel. Uh, here is uh, here is what uh, what I just said. Exactly. So I computed only only once, and uh, so you you can you can leave them them all on ideally. Yeah. And by the way, there's a lot of screen slides here. There's a lot of slides here that are talking about things. The uh, this presentation is downloadable for all of you. Those of you that are here in the uh, watching this live, uh, it's been uh, it's been put into the chat box. If you're watching this later on YouTube, go down to the uh, to the description box down below and open that up. Hit the show more button, and uh, and this you can download and uh, review the the presentation materials we're looking at via a, a PDF document. So. Perfect. Okay, here's the next slide for you, Milano. Okay, here is the window in which uh, you can create a new create a new channel or edit uh, an existing one. Uh, we are on the, the interface is very similar to to the Ray Studio Two analysis, but there are some uh, some differences that that uh, I'd like to point out. Uh, we have, uh, of course, the possibility of choosing the name of the and the frequency of the channel. Uh, we can uh, define, as we do in the configuration, we can define the channel function, uh, just left of it, the channel, uh, the channel function there. So you can, uh, you can define this channel. The channel I com I'm computing now will be, will be a temperature. So I, you define it as temperature and uh, you will use it at, as, a, as, a, as it is. Uh, then we can, uh, I, I'm, I'm suggesting you to, to, go, to do a good use of the area and, and of the comment boxes. Just the, the area enables you to, to sort the channels you create in the, in the previous window to have, a, to have them sorted in a better way. And uh, the comment just to remember what, uh, what you did. Uh, here it is the comment. Okay, we can move to the next slide, please, in which uh, 
I'm, uh, I'm introducing the identifiers that are the, the center, the center column, uh, let, let me call uh, this way, uh, of, of this, uh, this window, in which uh, uh, you, you have a list of all, the, of all the channels that can be used for, uh, for creating MA channels. Uh, you can start, uh, you can use a channel from, uh, from a session. And uh, here in the list, you have, uh, you have uh, the list of the channel of the session you are, you are seeing uh, uh, in the analysis when you open this, uh, this channel creation window. You can uh, add uh, um, a, a log sheet item so at the moment uh, it will work uh, only with uh, with the uh, weather forecast so you can you can use uh, say a dew point or humidity or pressure uh, for in a, in a formula you in a formula of a match channel and in the future when we will have uh, the log sheets uh, you you will be able to use also also some uh, some other parameters like uh, like maybe uh, some uh, some numbers bound to the setup of the weight distributions, the ballast, uh, the driver weight, motion you can, ratios. You can, and... uh, absolutely, you can uh, you will be able to add uh, items to to your log sheet and use the values you insert per every session in the for these items, and you will be able to use those values here in the math uh, in the math channel formula. Uh, let's go to the to the next slide. Okay, the operator and functions are, are the top, uh, the, the rightmost column are the same, uh, the same uh, as uh, Ray Studio 2 analysis. We added, I think we added uh, two, three functions, but uh, it's not, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's math functions uh, like sine, pro, cosine, and, uh, and uh, other math, uh, math stuff uh, like this. We can go to the, to the next slide, okay. When you when you hit the verify verify formula button, that's on the bottom left part. Yes, that one. Uh, here, Im immediately close to there, there will be a list of the channel as as they are identified by the by the math channel parser, and uh, it will be allowing you in uh, fixing some uh, some possible mistakes in the in the formula, or it will be confirming you that uh, you insert. Uh, Insert the formula that's uh, that's uh, grammarly correct. We can uh, move to the next slide, in which uh, I go into into a little more detail uh, the formula. It's a little more complicated if compared to Ray Studio Two. Uh, you can, but it, it gives you more possibilities. Uh, if you go to the next slide, please. Uh, I I go in detail when uh, when you create a formula, you can reference. Uh, I mean, a formula is a big reference to other channels. How how can you uh, reference other channels or other identifiers, as I call them, because identifier can be a, a channel or or a log sheet uh, a log sheet uh, parameter. Uh, if you want to, to reference another channel by name, you need uh, in the formula to surround uh, the name, the channel name with uh, quotation marks. This uh, allows, uh, uh, differently from, uh, from the parser of the Ray Studio 2 analysis, uh, this allows you to keep spaces into the, into the, into the channel name. Uh, another channel in the formula of a math channel, another channel can be referenced by its function. So uh, you, to do this, you need to write uh, CHF and uh, that, that stands for channel function and the type inside the two, the two parentheses, uh, type the name of, of the function. Uh, you need to write the exact name of the aim function, but you, are, you can be guided in this uh, uh, go please, Roger, to the previous slide. Uh, okay, right on the bottom of, of the center column, that's uh, in the bottom of the center column. Okay, okay, there. There's a button that, uh, that allows you uh, um, an easy choice of the, of the function uh, you, want, uh, you want to reference. 
but uh, let's go to the to the next one next okay uh, what does it mean uh, referencing by by function it means that in your in your formula you write uh, the function of a channel in this case engine rpm and uh, however your customer if you are creating a match channel for for a customer of yours uh, however, the, the customer named his engine RPM channel, the parser of the match channel will find it and uh, will use its value uh, to, to compute the formula you wrote. Uh, you can uh, also in the formula use uh, as identifier, you can reference, uh, as I said, a log sheet item. But, uh, and to do this, you need to surround the name of the of the, of the log sheet item with the dollar dollar sign. This uh, uh, again, uh, you, you need to surround the, to surround the name with the two, two uh, equal signs uh, uh, in order to allow, uh, to allow the spaces to be used into to items names. Uh, it looks uh, complicated, but uh, it, it, the, magic, the magic happens when, uh, when you double click uh, in the center column, when you double click the channel name or, or the log sheet, uh, log sheet uh, item name, uh, you double click it and it, it will be inserted correctly into the, into the formula. Uh, let me spend uh, a word for, uh, for the units of measure. Uh, say, suppose uh, you want uh, to create a match channel that multiplies the GPS speed uh, uh, by two. Uh, you in, in your formula or maybe in a formula that's more complicated than this, you can define the unit, uh, the unit that will be used when referencing the, 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 the channel you, you, you point to. Uh, in this case, if you write a formula this, uh, this way with square brackets uh, and pH, right after the channel name or right after the log sheet item name, uh, the GPS speed will be converted into MPH just before the computation uh, will happen. So uh, this way you can, uh, you can define your, your own formulas to be always uh, uh, valid, even if you share data with uh, other persons that uh, may not use your your uh, your metrics so say say for brake pressures i see i see many people using bars many people using psi and uh, there there's no no specific reason to use uh, to use uh, one value instead of the other one or for say suspension speeds uh, many people use millimeter per second many people use uh, inches per second so uh, if you define your own formula and you uh, write the measure of unit, uh, the, the unit of measure uh, that are used for that specific uh, channel, uh, it will always work even if uh, someone else shares the data, data with you. So this mile per hour in this example, it's not, GPS may have been gathered in kilometers per hour, but it's mm -hmm. uh, since you put it in brackets, the output will be in miles per hour. Yeah, so, absolutely. So it's, it's your goal, not what you're not telling it what it is. It's it's the goal of what you want, not the other. It's answer. the goal okay. of what you want. Yes. Perfect. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. You good with that one? Yeah, I think I'm good with that one. Yeah. And the uh, let me. Um, we don't have a ton of time. Maybe um, we can. Uh, I can stop this share, and maybe you can bring it up, and I, we can go through a couple of these questions real quickly. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to stop my share and then maybe you can open up yours and share it. And while you're doing that, let's talk a couple of uh, these questions why he answers that, uh, where he gets his up and running. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, to move start finish. Uh, uh, no, there is no, there is no way that that can be close to the, to the, existing uh, uh, to, to the Ray Studio 2 analysis, uh, we can define another, another track map in, in which uh, you move uh, the start finish line in, in, another, in another place. Uh, and uh, uh, that way the start finish will be, will be moved uh, to the new. 
and, and Kyle and, and Kyle, I have taken that as a personal um, uh, task that I uh, I ask anybody that has a track that the start finish line is off on, please contact me here in North America. Certainly, contact me, Kyle. Talk to me about it. Where is it? What is it? I will work with the AIM guys, and we will get that adjusted correctly. So, if you've got one that's always off, don't try to change it. You know, individually, I'd rather have it be correct for everybody that's using it. So, contact me, and let's get that one fixed. Okay. Yeah, as as soon as the, the aim track gets uh, corrected with the, with the the proper start finish line, all the race studio tree also with the previous uh, previous data will be will be working the that. right way. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Johan talks about: Is it possible in the in the uh, before you've selected a, your data? Is it possible to select a track and get my own best lap time of all the sessions on what track? with uh, when it was between 18 and 20 to two degrees. In other words, filtering down. Uh, I believe most of that is uh, is doable now. Maybe not the temperature, is that true? No, not temperature for sure, no. But uh, this request is uh, has come to me in the, in the last days by, by Enrico. So I, and, I sense it will be done. <laughs> and, and I sense it will be done too. Uh, and the other one that I asked for uh, that maybe gets slipped in there as well is those comments that we plugged in. Maybe uh, maybe you wrote, you know, the weather was, it started raining mid, mid race. Mm -hmm. Uh, being okay. able to filter by, uh, or, or at least find some, the data where you've typed something in in a comment uh, in a search box would be helpful, even if you don't use it as a, a filter. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. At the moment, it's okay. not uh, it's not possible, but uh, sure, it will be done. Uh, okay. Dependencies for a math, for a math channel. Uh, I think we cannot. Uh, I, I mean, we when we apply math channels, uh, we normally go. Uh, going into an iterator in an iterator iteration sorry pro, uh, process uh, so to ensure they all gets calculated uh, but uh, i see i see the the meaning of uh, of eldon question i think uh, you do show in the math channels when you bring it up i think it does show that it's using yes using a certain ma previous math channel is yeah, part of the but uh, maybe of maybe that. eldon is afraid of uh, circular references so if you write two, channel, two different questions yeah. a that a that depends on b and the, in b the formula depends on a so it's it's a circular reference and uh, it's dangerous uh, dangerous for the uh, for software so yeah but I think it does right now, if you say um, a math channel is using a previous math channel, it actually mm -hmm. shows you in your math channel that you're using a previous math channel. The order is still, still a, a problem. Okay, will you update improve? Will this new update improve trackpad scrolling performance? I think, uh, Kyle, you're going to find that, uh, yes, uh, there, there has been a bunch of uh, improvements all, all in known speed. Problems, uh all per, all known problems with the trackpads have been uh, have been solved uh, maybe that there is something i'm not aware of but uh, just drop uh, drop us an email and uh, we will we'll fix it a ton of speed uh, enhancements not just on trackpads but across the board are, have been built into a lot of these these latest betas the same have a list uh, from uh, many different users which could be downloaded uh, what do you mean download, he, uh, down below, but the next one says math channels he's talking about he's asking if there is a a global list that's out there of different people's math channels um to be to be used by him or, or other users what aim has done now what emiliano and the software team have done now i had a big list of of default math channels that I've been sending out for years and they have included all of those so if you, if uh, other folks have some math channels that they think might be good to be uh, included in here and, and have them available for others certainly I think uh, they would uh, um, yeah why not yeah why not assume that they would do Un that undockable windows uh, ah, I know yeah. I forgot to even I ask know. about that <laughs> I know I know <laughs> Brian I also I give you the same uh, the same answer I Roger is your, is your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> push, 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 push. Uh, yes. I have been. So Brian, we're, we're, we're working on it. I think um, also other people are, are asking for that. So I think that'll be happening. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So uh, Kyle, I think AIM should produce, if possible, a math channel syntax document. I believe that is absolutely true as well. Uh, yeah, we'll, it's, it's on the way. It's on and the way. when we get that, and I understand it well enough, we will do a uh, uh, one or a series of videos that are just about making the math channels work for us uh, in, in yes. video form. Yes, so, yes, uh, yes. All of that to be coming. 
And math uh, channels be uh, edited outside of Ray Studio 3, like in Ray Studio 2. We used to be able to do it in a math in Notepad. Is that doable? Uh, when, when you export math channels, uh, the, the, the format uh, is uh, textual. So you can, uh, you can edit them using a Notepad for sure. I think, though, with the uh, new functionality, I, I, it's going to be better to do it in Ray Studio 3. There's so much more power, but it sounds like it is still in a text format, uh, the edit, the yeah, export. Absolutely, yes, it's a text format. So uh, in case you are you are a programmer and you are... I can do it that way. You find it easier with that way, you can do that. Uh, the ability to use multiple monitors. Yeah, you can. You can already use multiple monitors. It's, it's already possible. You can uh, you just drag. You need to take a, to take a tab and drag it away into, into another window, and it, it will go into another another window. Uh, that, yeah, it, it it does. It makes it kind of floating. I think that'll become even easier, Johan, when they uh, make the drag and drop and being able to move stuff around a little easier. But uh, it's doable now, just by grabbing a tab and mm -hmm. dragging it off to the yep. side. Yeah, it's doable. Yeah, you, you will see that that works actually fairly well. Uh, I'm lost trying to create match channels in Ray Studio 3. Uh, sure, with the 95 uh, version, uh, that there are there are some known bugs, but uh, the new one uh, will be better. Uh, uh, great. Uh, um, th that's um, John Barnum. Uh, its name is Dell on there. Uh, John, without a doubt, if you've been trying to use math channels in previous versions, I this is my own uh, feeling as well. It continued to confuse and, and frustrate me the uh, because some functions didn't work correctly, as Emiliano just said. Wait, grab the new version when it comes out here in a couple of days, update, and then start to, to play in the math channel function. I think you're going to have a whole lot better luck. And as we just mentioned, uh, we will be putting together documentation and video uh, on, on, on how to use it in, a, in better ways. So, okay. Um, and then the last one we got so far, and we are, we're out of time when we, we got to start winding it down. Is it possible yeah. to select a track and get my own best lap time of the sessions of the track? Um, filtering, I think, Johan, that second time he asked that, or maybe it just yes. popped back up. But um, um, filtering and getting to the, to the right data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be it would be done in the in the main database window for sure. For okay. Sure. And and is that yeah. available now or is it something that's a that's a no. future task? No, it's not. It's it's future. It's okay. Not okay. Now, so that Johan, that is not will. possible quite yet. But uh, like Ray Studio Two, we did have that ability to filter uh, uh, you know, selective availability. So yeah, for sure. We'll I soon. just wanted uh, wanted to show the zoom uh, the zoom capability that. Uh, you you can see all, all the x axis uh, zoom together and when when you are zoomed in you can you can move here and keep the x axis uh, together or you can hitting the control button you can uh, you can move the plot the x continues to move uh, in sync between all, all the graphs uh, but uh, the y is it's only on on this uh, on this one so let me get that let me make sure that's so right there you're just grabbing just the cursor and grabbing it, but when do you use the control button to? Keep the control button down and uh, drag and drop the... Okay, so you need the control there and you need it down when you're in the x-axis bar. Yes, you need, you need uh, to keep down also the left mouse button and you, and you, and you move it. Okay, okay. everybody start, uh, start looking for different things where that control button does a lot of... Uh, the uh, control, control button, button uh, and wheel as well. Say, say, say here, you, if you double click, uh, you, yeah, okay, you have to zoom it first. Uh, if you double click, you go back to the original settings. You if you control double click, it opens the, the channel settings so you can, you can change the scale here in, a, in an easier way, just, uh, just to adjust it to proper values. Or uh, yeah, it, it, this is what uh, I, I was saying. I was uh, saying before. Okay. And then cr control and scroll wheel does some things on the scale bar as well, right? Uh, no, the, the the mouse wheel is uh, no no control needed. Okay. Yeah, it's operated alone. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Let me just double check back on the question. It, it, think of if there's anything uh, else you want to show Emiliano while I read the question yeah. real quickly. I think we have no more, no more open questions. So, uh, okay, um, Kyle. Kyle, that's a perfect one to close it out with before we uh, call it a day, because I believe this is fixed uh, in, in the updated ones. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, Kyle, it is. Kyle asks, he gets it when, when you were, go ahead and open up that, uh, uh, that channels, re, uh, channels window again by double clicking. There's, yeah. a, there's a setting there that says step G with a check bar. 
all of you that have been running the current version, you, you've tinkered with that and you get an error message and it kind of uh, backs you into a corner. That uh, is my understanding has been fixed in the, in the version that's yeah. about to be released. If you, if you try now, the, the step is not multiple of, uh, of the maximum minus the minimum. Uh, but if you place uh, this now, pre previously it was uh, it was not working and now, now it is. Uh, yeah, so okay, well, that will be yeah. fixed. For, that will be fixed for you. And uh, I want to remind everybody when they when they should start looking for this uh, three fifty one uh, version. I said uh, two days from now. Two days. Okay, perfect. I, I remember when you said it, it, uh, it broke up or I was talking. So I just wanted to make sure everybody was, mm -hmm. don't look for it today. Don't look for it today. But then in the next two or three days, uh, be checking the little cloud icon in the upper right corner on Emiliano's screen right there. We'll have that little down arrow and that will say that uh, your beta is ready for an update. Um, so perfect. Um, Let's see. I think we're. Uh, I think we're there. I think we've answered all the questions. I appreciate everybody uh, coming in and and uh, and taking a look at it. We went through a lot, and I understand that. And it's uh, um, very very clear that uh, that we did that. But um, always keep in mind that we 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 go with these as fast as we can because we have just a ton of information over, and we know we're going to overwhelm uh, you at some level. Uh, certainly me, and um, and that we're going to make these available on YouTube just as fast as we can. Within an hour or so, the, this video will be up there and you can go back, uh, take a look, grab the presentation out of the, out of the YouTube uh, description box, open it up and, uh, and, uh, and go through and listen, uh, listen back to some of the stuff where we maybe threw a lot of information out real quickly and you didn't, uh, if, if you missed something while you were playing, um, watch it again. So that's why, that's why we put those out there just as fast as we can. So that'll be, uh, that'll be coming uh, uh, in the next hour or so. The, uh, uh, we're starting to turn down at the end of the season here, starting the weather starting to turn. I don't know about uh, the rest of you, but here in uh, the Pacific Northwest, we've got a couple of very large storms that have rolled through. Uh, I was without my power and internet up until about uh, 11 o'clock last night. So I was a bit of a panic, but it, uh, in the end, it's all back on and everything is okay. So uh, all very good. Uh, Hopefully we'll see you at tracks as we kind of end the year, but if not, give us a call. Uh, make sure you give us a buzz at uh, the 800 number. Always looking forward to helping you resolve some of these different questions and comments that come up. So keep that in mind. The, um, the next webinar, I've got, I've got two or three ideas. I, I, I decided to leave this as to be determined uh, because I've, uh, I've got a couple things I'd really like to do. So I haven't, um, I didn't finalize that and, and, uh, and actually put it down to uh, something that I want to do, but um, uh, I'll be, be, be determining that here in the next day or so. Maybe it'll be you, some, some of you that are listening. I, I have some ideas I'd like to try. If not, we'll, uh, I've got two or three uh, uh, webinars uh, ideas that have already been planned and ready to go. So decided not to share this because I kind of wanted to tweak it and change it. So we will see. Wait for that hour before. Uh, email that comes out and uh, and we'll announce on what the webinar is going to be next uh, next week. So uh, contact information. We talked about it earlier and uh, and I just want to reiterate it again here. Uh, we've got the Emiliano's address that he provides down here is software at aim-sportline.com. Anything that comes with the Ray Studio 3 beta software, please, please, please send it to me. We've got a couple of users out there that uh, that uh, love to help too. Matt Romanowski and James Colburn have, have just been just huge amounts of help for users that are uh, getting up to speed with Race Studio 3 analysis. They probably want you to continue to, 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 to help folks, not a big deal, but you have to include software at aimsportline.com or else uh, the, the entire software team does not understand all of the different uh, things and doesn't prioritize them correctly. So please uh, always include anything that with, is around Race Studio 3 analysis uh, included there. One last question as I kind of turn it over to you, Emiliano. Um, we are beta, we're still beta. When, uh, what, uh, the, the question has come to me several times uh, outside of the question and answer here, but uh, when, do, when does it look like, when are you thinking production? What, uh, when, when we actually turn off that beta and actually with the white icon instead of the gold icon and turn it where Race Studio 3 is available to the, to the masses? Well, I, I've, been, uh, I've been asking to some of our most, uh, I mean, some of our power users, let, let, me, let me call them this way. I've been asking uh, for 
which features were were they missing uh, for for for, re, for uh, making a uh, race view three a default uh, a default uh, use on the track, and uh, I think the complete list uh, we we made together is uh, is in this release. So it's it's still a beta, but uh, for 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 what I've been told, we can we can switch to uh, to a release uh, pretty soon. We will keeping we will be keeping the race to the two analysis uh, possibility, so it would be always a backup uh, a backup possibility. But uh, I think uh, sooner than later we will move into we will move race to the tree into the release. I mean, so what you'll see in the white icon or the production version of software, just like we do in the beta, you'll have a two and a three up there in, yes. in the top. And when yes. you download your data, you can push whichever one you want to go to. We're just giving yes. Race Studio 3 out as the production uh, yeah. uh, version as well. So. As, soon, as soon as people feel confident with uh, Race Studio 3, they can, uh, they can decide to be using the only Race Studio 3 for, for the analysis on the track. And for Sorry. a while, I suppose, and I'm not. This is more of a question. I, uh, when you're downloading your data and using Ray Studio three from an MX, uh, an MXP or whatever, a solo two, uh, the data when you download it is being placed in both places, so it's available to. Uh, it's it's see. it's a it's a setting uh, in the download uh, download settings. Uh, you can decide uh, if you want uh, one, uh, if you want Ray Studio two, Ray Studio three, or both. Is it, doesn't it default to both right now, or is it just I have always just changed the, it to in that? In the beta, I think the default in the beta is uh, both. Uh, maybe in Race Studio, maybe you want uh, you want to change the default into into using only one. Uh, maybe uh, I, I, I would think at first the, the the default should stay it to you know, having that data source being in both, so people can jump back and forth for a the, while. But. The default will not uh, will not be changing for uh, for uh, a while. So. Okay, perfect. Okay, I appreciate everybody. Uh, looks like we've uh, we've taken care of all of the uh, the questions and answers and all the different things that I can tell. Thank you all for doing that, Emiliano. There's his address, uh, mine as well. If there's any other questions that you may have, I heard my email go off like crazy over the last. Uh, hour. So I my, my, I think I've got a few questions. I, I just toned it down. But uh, I appreciate everybody coming. Uh, Ray Studio 3 looking like a new beta in a few days, uh, going to production uh, in the coming days at some point. I'm not, uh, we don't have an exact date, but coming soon. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Emiliano, again, for uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to come and do these. It's, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Um, looking forward to seeing everybody here next Tuesday, November 2nd for our, for our next webinar. We'll, uh, I'll let you know what it is about an hour beforehand. Thank you everybody for coming. I appreciate Thank it. You. And, and we will talk to you all later. Thank you.